All right, so we'll see how long this video goes without interruption. Literally. Um, so, um, yeah. How do you ever expect to get paid more and you can't even fill up half of Madison Square Garden? God bless New York Liberty, but that's just a basic economics. That's literally a basic economics. How do you expect to get paid more and you can't even fill up even half of Madison Square Garden? At least from the visuals that I've seen. You know, maybe the, the visuals I've seen are biased and only show one portion of the arena or whatever else. But when you can't even fill up half of the arena, how in God's name do you expect to get paid any more than what you're getting paid? And I blame that on anybody but the players to an extent because I know they got talent. They got um, Kia Nurse uh, and quite a few others that I can't name, but they got Kia Nurses for, for, for one. So they have talent there for New York Liberty and countless other squads. Don't get me wrong. They have all the talent in the God first world. It's just, I guess, the league itself does not know how to brand itself properly, and they don't know how to market themselves more fluently. And no offense to the existing commissioner, but that's why I've thought to myself over the last few months, I got this gut feeling that WNBA needs to not try to pander and not try to beat up on the NBA for anything when it comes to in terms of the last time I checked the NBA's reason why your butt is still there in terms of like the reason why you know your league is still alive because you're not financially you know able to sustain your own stuff you know if if it wasn't for the NBA dumping money into what is considered a money pit with your league you wouldn't have a league you would have no other choice but to go overseas and collect a few more millions to play so I understand both sides of the story when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to why some people are saying be thankful for what you get versus the players are like, no, we want more, we deserve more. I get both sides, which I hope you're able to understand that after me just saying, you know, that's why, well, after saying the butt word uh, in, the, in a way I, I uh, said it. Because, you know, all the women athletes that I know know that I love and support them also oh dearly. I've went out to several middle school basketball games, high school basketball games, and um, college basketball games, particularly for UNF for the college basketball games. But I've done it. I've invested in, 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 in women, women's athletics. I've invested in my friends, supporting my friends, giving back to my community through supporting my friends and so on and so on. That's what I love. That's what I believe in. And that's what I cherish and want to keep on doing. But I'm not going to even lie about the basic economics. If you can't fill up half of Madison Square Garden, how in God's name do you, affect, you expect to get more money, period? And that's, that's kind of part of the biggest problem. People keep on trying to tackle the New York market without understanding what the New York market demands of you. You cannot just, like, it's almost like what they said with, um, with L.A. You can't plant a football team in L.A. and have them go 2-12. 4-12. and 12, four and, um, uh, No, no, 2-16. and 16, I think 2-16. and 16, no, two, two and fourteen. You can't play a football team in in LA and spend them to, and, and and have them go two and two and fourteen, four and twelve. You can't. It's, it's not sustainable. There's too many other things to do. I think in LA or in New York, vice versa, is the same thing. There's too many other things to do than to be watching losing suckish, sorry basketball. You know, and so on. Now, no offense to to the Knicks versus the Liberty. The Knicks have been around forever. So that's why they have, either way it goes, a ground roots bought into fan base. And they haven't always been bad. So that's another reason why they have a more grassroots built-in fan base. And Liberty are still trying to establish theirs, you know, and so on. And like I said, I think it's just better marketing. It's better promotion. And they need a male commissioner. God bless the existing commissioner. But you need a male commissioner up in there. I'm sorry. You need a male commissioner. Don't pander to people. Don't pander. Work with people. I'm telling you, don't pander and try to make all these people feel negative, neg negatively bad for no good reason. And I said negatively bad for no good reason. Stop trying to pander. Work with people. Work with the New York market. Ask the New York market, what do you need from us? What do you want to see from us? Constructively, that's going to honor us and that's going to you know, help you know, spread awareness and more revenue and whatever else categories or words you can put there to describe it. But don't pander and et cetera, et cetera. And one of the top other things I wanted to express here, it's amazing how I've had this bought into ideology for a minute. Some, some, sometimes, depending on what situation it is, that all women cared about women's empowerment. That couldn't be further from the truth. That could not be further from the truth. Uh, some women do not care about women's empowerment whatsoever, and they're just as demeaning, uh, demeaning, and um, 
and uh, patronizing and et cetera as any other male you've ever met, you know, and so on and so on. Hate, hate, poor manners, bad attitude does not distinguish on race, does not distinguish on gender. It absolutely does not, you know, it absolutely does not. But we're getting back to some of the basics of what I'm saying there. God bless the WNB. I've been scouting y'all for years, so don't ever think that NJ, this is just uneducated opinions. No, I've done my research. I've heard people's opinions, and I'm telling you that some some of the, I understand. I want you to get paid more. I want more league league expansion because I have, like I said before, I've went out to the middle school games, went out to the high school games, and there's so many talented young young ladies went out to the college games that deserve a chance at the next level. I mean, for God's sakes, North Alabama came in and. I think either beat my UNF Ospreys girls basketball team or they came close to it because, I mean, they was just dropping dimes. They was just shooting threes all over us. And that's what I mean. There's so many young ladies out there who they put the time and they put the work and they put the effort in. They put it all godly in. They deserve more pay. They deserve more freedom of expression. They deserve more just everything, you know, without being bullied and ostracized for voicing authentic and real, you know, opinions and so on and so on. They deserve they they deserve more, but in order for them to get certain things of that more value, dare I say, either somebody has to give, you know. Well, actually, I think yeah, either somebody 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 has to give. I guess some side somebody something has to give. I can't fully tell you all of what has to give, but I definitely know in terms of if you want people to tune into your games, I'm telling you, one of the top things you got to do is you got to know how to market and promote to them, and what that means is get more directly in base with your you know with your market let alone with college basketball i mean women's college basketball is profitable and is successful obviously not everywhere you go but obviously in select markets like south carolina like notre dame like yukon a couple more if not a lot more that's what i'm saying so don't use these garbage biased bs excuses of you know of um of it's just not profitable it is profitable you know softball is profitable Women's basketball is profitable. Women's across, I know somehow, some way, it's profitable. Even though I'm yet to see the same crowds, but maybe because they don't play in the same venues. But still, things are profitable. You know, you just have to know how to market it, how to promote it, how to develop it. And I wouldn't say always trying to pander towards the little kids is always the smartest idea. I wouldn't say that always is. I think that sometimes out of desperation dare i even say sometimes that can be that can be looked at as more out of desperation than a key point key marker to future success you know you don't need to dare i say you don't need to always you don't need i mean sure get involved with the little ones but don't make that as like you're just your key marker of you know this is the only way we're gonna you know this is what we have to or only, only we're gonna you have to get more involved with the whole community at large not just one sector not just one one um yeah, not just one side. You have to get involved in with as much as you possibly can with the community-based side of what your branding is, what your brand is, you know. And women's basketball, I'm telling you, is tremendously profitable and possible. And I want these young ladies that I went to school with and that I'm watching in middle school when I'm watching on college level, I want them, so many of them, to get that opportunity somewhere, whether it's the U.S. or overseas. By the way, there's no shame in going in, in overseas to an extent. And I mean, to an extent of, hey, if you just like it better overseas, then okay. The money part, that's the part that, that makes it makes it look really bad on the WWNBA for having to go overseas. That, like, what's her name, um, who said is an Australian-American, um, she said that the WNBA does not pay my bills. You know, that makes sense. I'm sorry. It doesn't pay your bills. The NPF doesn't pay your bills. I don't know what they do will get paid, but it's, it's definitely an allowance, but it's not even close to you know, what you really need to make a sustainable living off of, you know, and so on and so on in the direct city that you're from, which is why you probably do have to work another job. And this is just a, a hobby you get paid off of and so on and so on. But I think same thing with the with the MPF and, and so on. Everybody just needs to get better marketing, get better promotion. They need to, I hate to even say, just get me in there. Just get me in there. Because again, I love people. I love connecting with the community. I love asking questions. I love doing what I can to indeed see what do we have to do to get better community engagement, player engagement, you know, cut things up into pieces, 
you know, phase one, phase two, whatever, whatever we got to do. You got to get smart and ta smart, intelligent, talented people in there who know marketing, no pro promotion, no development, who know community engagement. Probably even just the just three is probably the most important one out of there. I think if you get the community engagement, everything else just follows. And if you don't know, if you can, if you and, and that's the thing, if you don't get good community engagement, you know, then no matter how many. How, how well you think you are are marketing from promotion your brand is still never gonna boost you know it's still never gonna get get off off the ground and i'm just saying to know that the, 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 the some WNBA teams if not most have been using supposedly third party companies to come in and artificially fill arenas you know to make it look more full than what it actually is i want y'all to understand that is sorry sad and pathetic you have to get third party people to come in guys that's pathetic i'm sorry that's just you hiding from the fact that nobody wants to see you that's literally you hiding from the fact that nobody wants to see you play i'm sorry that is sorry sad and pathetic that just shows desperation that you have to get third party investors to come here and artificially fill seats like people are getting paid to go to the game guys that's desperation and that desperation is totally a money pit and will only last for so long. You got to stop doing that. That's one of the top reasons why maybe some people, if not certain demographics of people, are not supporting you because that's desperation right there. And desperation at times will only get you so far. But that's what I'm saying. It has a lot to do with community engagement. If your community engagement is out there, that explains why you have to go try to fill, fill, fill it with third, with third party companies. I mean, come on. You know, like I said, definitely get more engaged with the youth, but, you know, don't just do youth and think that if you get more engaged with the youth, that's going to save everything. At least if you were to ask me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, getting more engaged all together with the youth is what you you absolutely need to drive everything forward. But I think the youth will definitely play a part, but they can't be, you know, the cornerstone of it. Uh, that's really dumb that I say it because almost everything I do is tour towards the youth. Everything I do is marketing and promotion. <laughs> well, I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just said that. Almost everything I do is marketing and promoting towards the youth. And I can't believe I just said that about the WNBA towards marketing and promotion towards the youth that, that 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 the youth can't be the I can't believe I just said that. That's so contradictory to my to my brand and how I market and promote myself. That's so contradictory. But I guess you could say that the difference between me and the WNBA is that, you know, is dare I say it's not gonna work for everybody. Making the youth a cornerstone, at least if you were to ask me, you know, making the youth a cornerstone is some, some you know, you know, of your 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 yeah, your brand's marketing and promotion. Sometimes I you know, I don't even know the best way to word that without making myself seem even more clueless. So I'm just gonna leave leave that as that. I mean again, market towards the youth, but the point is you need more overall community engagement. You need more overall community engagement, more than just the youth, you know. Because just because a kid says, Mommy, Dad, let's go to WMB, that doesn't mean that Mommy and Daddy's going to actually, you know, pick up and go. Or go consistently enough, or whatever the case might be. So maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that stuff up. But I'm telling you, I mean, I'm telling I really feel like one of the top things that a WMB needs to do is, you know, Get better at them. Get better at strategically marketing and promotion. Get better at community engagement, and absolutely get get a, get a male a, get a male com commissioner up in there. I'm sorry, but you need a dedicated male commissioner that knows how to how to get involved with the community to see what markets work and what those markets want to see, and how do we continue to keep feeding it and feeding it and feeding it to where not only do we have more than 12 teams hopefully but we also have you know enormous amount of money growth where everybody is more equally compensated or just fairly compensated according to obviously you know stats and leadership quite intangibles that you can't put a price tag on it so on and so on because you know there's a lot other stuff to go into with the WNBI things but that's definitely some or some of what I can go into, cause like I said, everything I do for the most part is marketing promotion towards the youth. So I really can't believe I just said, yeah, make the youth your cornerstone. I mean, they're they're my cornerstone. So I mean, God bless y'all. Take care, your boy, man. NJ to the city out.